Jaguar Land Rover are meaning business in the automotive industry here in the UK. They are investing half a billion pounds into creating a new EV factory of the future in Merseyside. Full article on the motoringchronicle.com as always guys, let's have a look at what's going on here. This sounds very exciting indeed. JLR has announced a half a, mil half a billion investment into transforming its historic Halewood factory to support the parallel production of electric vehicles alongside existing combustion and hybrid models. Originally built in 1963 to produce the Ford Anglia, Halewood is being transformed for the electric era. With 250 million pounds already invested, the transformation so far has involved over 1 million hours of construction work over the last 12 months. The site has been extended by 32,000 square meters to produce JLR's medium-sized electric luxury SUVs on the new electric modular architecture EMA platform. The historic plant has been fitted with technology including EV build lines, 750 autonomous robots, ADAS calibration rigs, laser alignment technology for perfect part fit and the latest cloud-based digital plant management systems to oversee production, creating a factory of the future. This investment is part of JLR's commitment to its reimagined re strategy, which will see JLR electrify all of its brands by 2030, with the aim of achieving carbon net zero across the supply chain products and operations by 2039. Electrification is central to this strategy and Halewood has an ex exciting future producing ICE Peach EV and BEV models side by side before eventually becoming JLR's first all electric production facility. So that's clever actually because you know we're seeing a lot of companies, I mean Volvo with a big one, I've already done a video about them, Volvo basically said you know we're not going to go all electric by 2030 anymore and they've not set a new date for doing that. JLR is seeing that and basically being like look we're going to have a significant electric production but we're not going to go all in all electric yet because it's not ready for you because it's not. The, the UK is not ready for an all-electric system, you know, it's just not. And yeah, partially, but can you imagine if everybody was driving EVs now? The country would come to a standstill. So the, the structure and the support and, you know, the, the foundations of it all are just not there, um, unfortunately, which is a real shame. You know, it's something I want, you know, I think should, would be important in happening, to be honest, but we've got a long way still to go. So I think JLR have been quite clever here. But yeah, let's have a look. There's some few, there's some highlights here of the, of the transformation. So the, there's a new body shot capable of producing 500 vehicles bodies per day. There's 1.4 kilometers of paint shop that has been modified with the expansion of ovens and conveyors to respond to increased demand for contrasting roofs. A construction of new automated painted body storage tower capable of storing 600 paints of vehicle bodies. The final production line has been increased in length from four kilometers to six kilometers to accommodate battery fitment. The vehicle build stations extend to seven meters to facilitate the different portions of the new EMA vehicles. Yeah, there's gonna be some big ones. They are they are big cars. I mean, if you've seen some of them Jaguar SUVs recently, I mean, the, the Range Rovers and the Land Rovers are big, but them things are massive as well. There's a few of them on my streets. 40 new autonomous mobile robots, AMRs, introduced to assist employees with the fitment of high voltage batteries, delivered high voltage training to over 1,600 employees, won 16 million pounds worth of viable equipment from JLR's Castle Bromwich site, ranging from ABB robots to automated guided vehicles has been integrated for reuse at the factory. See, so there's a full gallery. There's even more information on this article, far more than I can go through in this five minute video. But another video you might be interested in seeing is our one on JLR's robot dog that is going around that factory. I believe it's the Bromwich uh, factory that I mentioned in the article there as well. So, and you know, it might seem like a bit of a gimmick, but it's actually pretty clever. So yeah, go check that out video if you've not already, of course. And of course, subscribe, follow, like, share, comment, all that good stuff on the Motoring Chronicle to see much more motoring and motorsport news right here.